Hello, YouTube friends and family. Let me see if I can get a little more light. Okay, now you can see me a little bit better. So, I was trying. I hope you're having a nice 4th of July first. Every day above ground is a good day. Every day indoors is a good day. And I am grateful in spite of. So, the lights came back on. My last thing. When the lights go out, something can happen when they come back on called the power surge. I was okay Saturday all day. Didn't open the door. Didn't go outside garden. It was raining. It rained, so it was all right. I was like, the garden should be fine. Everything's getting watered. It's raining. I opened the door a little bit on Sunday. Um, had a, a quick visitor and then didn't realize anything was wrong. But today I started folding clothes and trying to move around a little bit. I'm like, well, why is it so hot? Y'all know I'm always hot. I start the videos like I'm sweating. Oh my goodness, it's hot. But it was hot. So I said, let me go check the thermostat. Maybe I need to turn it down today. It's a little hotter. Maybe I need to go from 80 to 78. Okay. So I go look at the thermostat. I see no numbers. I see nothing. I'm like, oh goodness, this thing doesn't work. So I go to the box, check the box. It's, and I flick it off and flick it back on. Still nothing. Go press more nibbles on the thermostat like it's going to magically come on. Still nothing. No air is running in this house. I don't even know the temperature. But I didn't feel it till I started getting up, moving around. I was on, in chill mode the weekend. So, good word of advice. Since I knew the lights had been out, first I called my home warranty company. Now, they're normally good, but I don't know what's going on this summer. When I put in the online ticket, they say pick a pick a um go ahead and pick a date, pick an appointment date. The first appointment date is Saturday. It's Monday. I was like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I picked the first available Saturday. Then I thought about it. I say, well, the lights were out. Let me um call an insurance claim in because it could have been a power surge knocked out the unit. Yeah, the unit's old. It was 18 years, and I was holding out. Cause I'm like holding out because new units are worse. And new These people are replacing units in my neighborhood that they got a year or two ago. So I'm like, they are putting out straight garbage now. I'm better off with my old unit for as long as my old unit will last. So I, my home warranty... And I will put a plug, and I might even put a link below that'll get you a free $25 gift card if you're interested. Um, $25 Amazon gift card if you want to sign up. My home warranty is First American. They have been good to me thus far. Every call, they come out. I got the first class upgrade, so they're supposed to replace. Depending on what the insurance company say, because the insurance company going to be out here in 24 to 48 hours. But I got all of them on deck, paid my little, my little copay to the First American. It was $85. $85 is worth it if you're going to replace the unit like you said you would. So, And I had the unit go out in the winter. They had somebody out here within a day or two. And you know we don't care in the winter. It's fine. I could put a blanket on, put some more clothes on. So they had um, someone out in a day or two. He came out. And he had the wrong part and the wrong make. So he came right back and he fixed it. And it was a pretty extensive repair because he had to replace the whole drum on the interior unit. Because I tell you, I thought my hot water heater was about to explode when I discovered the issue. I'm like, well, what is that noise? In the garage, it sounds like little people wrestling out there in a washing machine. That's what it sounds like. So I was like, um, and so it took me a minute to diagnose and even figure out which appliance it was. So it was the whole drum on the inside of the unit was losing pieces and it was rattling around in there and pretty much had came off the axle or whatever. 
So don't know the technical terms. I'm not an HVAC person, but I kind of understood the sound once he explained what it was. So um, I put in my ticket for that. So we are going to see. But I am freaking dying. I, I, well, I'm dying out of choice because I'd rather sit in my room for some reason. If I go to my center of my house, it's a lot cooler. So I may move on to the center. And as you can see, I got this fan blowing on me. And I don't care about aesthetics. I don't need crystal and diamond chandeliers. I have ceiling fans in my major rooms and every bedroom for this same purpose. So I'm trying to make it. But my, my instinct is telling me to go to Ollie's <laughs> and get one of those portable units so I can hold out until Saturday. Because, you know, I could call bro man from the fourth, fifth floor <laughs> from the Martin days. I could call him and have this thing up and running. But hopefully have it up and running. But I want to go about using what I paid for already. So, it is what it is. What would you do? What would you do? And, of course, I've been unemployed since February. So, ho and it's 4th of July weekend. So, ho hotel is not an option. I ain't even trying to leave my house. Cause then, when you go, go to the hotel, you got to feed yourself or whatever. So, I can't even do that. So, I'm going to sit here and tough it out like the soldier that I am. But one thing I'm, I'm thinking about in this is... Oh, that was giving me light, backlight too. One thing I'm thinking about in this is, uh, you you need to be good for as long as you on this rock, cause hell is not a good place. I can't stand the heat up here. <laughs> so, uh, but again, I hope you are all enjoying your Fourth of July. This is why there's no video production right now, because if I go outside and get that heat to come back in to the oven. I probably pass out. So I wanted to plant a fruit tree for y'all. I wanted to um I got two fruit trees to plant actually. I wanted to go ahead and plant a fruit tree for y'all, but that's gonna have to be tabled till I can at least go out there and sweat and walk back into a cool house. But keep watching, there's plenty of content on the channel. It's over what a hundred and thirty some videos on the channel. Keep watching and enjoy my content. If you like my content, please subscribe to the channel. And I will place uh, the First American Whole Awards link below. Like I said, they've been good thus far. I have a few contracts on the rentals and everything. And um, we'll see how this goes and I'll keep you posted. But thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing over here. And have a great day.